Welcome to Kevin's European Garage and today I'm going to show you how to change the spark plugs on my 2013 Porsche Cayenne V6. So today I'm going to discuss on how to remove the spark plugs in this vehicle. I'm only going to do the first two because you can repeat the steps for the other ones except that the real ones get a little bit more difficult because they're more recessed down lower than the top of the intake manifold as opposed to the front ones which are pretty much level. So it takes a little bit more work to get to the rear ones but the procedure is the same. I just changed all my spark plugs when I did my PCB valve, so I don't have to change them, but I've, I have had a few requests to do this. So I figured I'd show you how to do the first two and uh, it will get you going for the rest of them. Okay, so spark plugs in this vehicle are recommended to be done every 40,000 miles by Porsche. And uh, these use the Iridium plugs, at least that's what I put in here. And uh, first we gotta take off this wiring harness off the coil and you want to lift up on this plug over here and then lift up and then pull up and that should release it so you just want to pull up you got to be careful you don't want to pull too hard on these because you know it is plastic and you certainly don't want it to break so let's just do that again lift up this whole lot. So getting the coil out is going to be slightly difficult. Uh, they don't go straight down because this is a still a V6 engine, even though it's straight. It's not a straight six, but it's not a true V6. Uh, but the coils going down at an angle. So these coils, they don't screw into the valve cover. They're actually held onto the spark plug by just by pressure from the clip that's on the inside of the coil. So these things are a little difficult to come out. So what I did is I grabbed a set of pliers like this and just put them underneath. And then I pushed down on the other side and slowly pry it up. I wanna pry it, pry it up straight. You don't wanna pull at an angle. If you just put pressure on this one side, you're gonna create pressure and push it that way and you can possibly crack the coil. You wanna lift up and push this way at the same time and they will come up. So this is the coil. And now let's remove the spark plug. And we can check how this is burning. And this is looking pretty good. So I'm not worried about this. Nice and clean. And these probably have been in there now for, I uh, don't know, these things have been in there now for about five or 6,000 miles. And before I put the spark plugs back in, I always put a little dielectric grease on the plug itself and also into the coil. So not only does it help as a little, little bit of a lubricant to help you get it back in there, it also keeps any moisture from getting in there and possibly arcing. So this is a really good thing to put on there. So like I said before, there's no screws that hold this coil onto the onto the cylinder head or the intake manifold or anything. It's just by pressure. And you can hear when you push the uh, spark plug in there, you can see it gets really tight right around here. And then that pretty much locks it in place. That's what's keeping the coil on there. So I put a little dielectric grease in here. It just kind of helps with getting the coil back on, like I said, and also keeping out any moisture. And now let's put the spark plug back in. New spark plugs will come pre-gapped. Only thing I would do is just make sure that they didn't accidentally get crushed or something like that during shipping or anything. But for the most part, they come pre-gapped and you don't have to worry about it. And the spark plugs get torqued down to 15 foot pounds, 25 newton meters. Which is not much pressure. Put our coil back in. Make sure you put it in correctly because once it's in, you can't spin it. And here's your little, here's your little tab. That lines up with here. And down in it goes. You're gonna push down on this pretty hard. And when it sits properly, you should hear a click. It's not a loud click, but you'll feel it when it goes in because it'll just continue sliding, then it will eventually stop. 
put your harness back on, make sure that clicks. And that's how you do the first one. And you saw that this went in an angle this way. So now the rear one is gonna be the same thing, but the angle is gonna be coming in at this way. All right, so now to get this one off, what we're gonna end up having to do is I get this little pick tool over here. One side, it's got a 90, the other side is straight. So what we're gonna do over here is we're just gonna pick up straight on that tab, right up in the middle, and wiggle it back and forth until it comes up. As soon as it starts coming up, slide it out of the way. This is where you gotta be really careful. You might take a little, a few times, especially since you know that these things probably haven't come apart in your car in a while, like they have on mine. So lift up and pull out. To get the coil out, we're gonna have to do the same thing. I doubt this one I should be able, I don't think I should be able to lift it out. It's stuck in there. So like I said, we grab one of these, put it on one side, pry from one side, push the opposite way with it, and just slowly lift up. Once you get these things, it shouldn't take that much pressure to lift it. And there we go. There's the coil out. Let's pull out the spark plug. Instead of this one, is at a different angle. plug same burn pattern as the other one so it's in good condition so you can see I previously put some dielectric grease on there I'm just gonna clean it off and put some new grease on like I said before not only is it a, a lubricant but also keeps the moisture out foot pounds so I just wiped down my coil clean off a little of the old uh, dielectric grease I put in there now I'm gonna put some more put it down where the plug sits in you can even put a little bit around over here help slide around the uh, the valve cover gasket don't forget to check the orientation this plug, this harness sits on like such. So the tab is gonna be pointed towards the rear of the vehicle. Push it down and then now push down hard enough until you feel like a hair click or feel it just stop pushing. It will be hard then give then stop again. And then the harness. And that's it. Now you just gotta repeat it for the other four. It gets slightly more difficult as you go on because the harness gets further and further down into the intake manifold. But using, but using this tool, you should be able to reach down in there, lift straight up on the harness. Don't lift too hard because you don't want to break it. And then just wiggle it back and forth. So thanks for watching my video on how to change the spark plugs on the uh, V6 Cayenne over here, the 3.6 V6. But you just have to be patient on it. You don't want to pull too hard and you don't want to break the little tab on here. So be very mindful of how much pressure you're putting on there. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like my video, and don't forget to ring that bell so you get the notifications when I come out with some more.